Hello everyone, my name is Jadani and welcome to my channel that is dedicated to helping you improve and succeed at CXC Math. So before I begin this video, I just want to say, you know, if you happen to stumble across this video or even if you're already subscribed to my channel and you find that these videos are helpful to you, um, please consider giving it a like as it would really help my page grow. You could even subscribe if you're not subscribed, that would help it grow even more and it would help you as well because you'll be able to easily find my videos and you know follow along with me as i go through these topics so jumping back into today's video we want to continue on with matrices and i know i didn't do a video last week so i'll try to do two videos this week to make up for that but what we're doing now is we want to look at what we call matrix multiplication last week or last time we looked at scalar multiplication so I'll link a video for that. But this week, we want to look at matrix multiplication, which is a bit different and a little bit more intense. But we're going to go through it nice and slow, and we're going to make sure that you understand it by the end of this video. So let's move over onto this board here. And we want to look, so let me write it out here, we want to look at matrix multiplication. And matrix multiplication is a little bit more tricky than scalar multiplication because first off we have certain conditions for matrix multiplication to occur right so for matrix multiplication to occur two matrices must be compatible so Let's say I have a matrix like this. Let's say I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, remember from our first video, we could describe this matrix in terms of its order by calling out how many rows and columns there are. Now there are two rows in this matrix. And there are three columns. So what we say is that this matrix here is a two by three matrix. Now let's say I wanted to multiply that by a different matrix. Let's say I want to multiply it by zero, four, one, This matrix here has two rows and it also has two columns. So this matrix is what we call a two by two matrix. Now what was what must happen for two matrices to be compatible? And I'll make a little note in it here. For two matrices to be compatible, they must have, or, or, or should I say, I should rather say, let me erase this and let me say that the number of, of columns in the first matrix must equal the number of rows in the second matrix. So the number of columns in the first matrix must equal the number of rows in the second matrix. So what that means this is a two row by three column matrix. So we're interested in columns in the first matrix. So let's underline that three there. And in the second matrix, we want to make, we want to see that the number of rows in the second matrix is equal to the number of columns. And this second matrix here 
is a two by two, two rows by two columns. So what we need to do is we need to observe these two numbers here and see whether they are the same. If the numbers are the same, that means they're compatible. And if the numbers are not the same, that means they're not compatible. So these two matrices here, this two by three multiplied by this two by two matrix, they are not compatible because when we draw this little circle here, the number of columns in the first matrix is not equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. And that's, it, it, it's very interesting for matrix multiplication because what I'm going to do on the next page, I'm going to do something very interesting. So on the next page, we're going to bring back those two matrices, but we're going to switch the order, meaning that we're going to do this one first, the two by two first. So we have zero, four, one, two, and we want to multiply it by, right, by one, two, three, four, five, six. So now our two by two matrix is here. And this matrix is still the same two by three matrix, two rows by three columns. But look what is happening here now. When we circle these numbers here, the number of columns in the first matrix is now equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. So what that's telling us is we need to be very cautious of which way we multiply matrices. Because in the previous page, when we had the two by three on this side, it wouldn't work out because when we do the check, they are not compatible multiplying them in this form. But in this form here, where we switch the position of the matrices, they are compatible because now the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. So now that we understand how to test compatibility of, a, of matrix multiplication, now we want to get into how do we actually multiply two matrices. So what I'll do is I'll just make a small note up here saying that they are compatible. And I'll just erase the test that we did. So if you're taking any notes, just make sure and pause the video before I erase it and, and copy it down. And now we're going to go through the process of how we multiply two matrices. So what we do is this, in fact, yeah, so what we do is this, we're going to multiply these two matrices using a process called row by column multiplication. And right now I'm going to tell you that for this, this question here, we're going to end up with a matrix, right? We're going to end up with a matrix that has two rows. It has two rows and three columns. So I'm just doing these boxes here to kind of fill the gaps in our matrix. So what these boxes are saying is that we're definitely going to have some numbers inside each of these boxes here. Now we need to figure out how do we get these numbers. And well, it's not that bad at all. What we need to do is we need to take the row of the first matrix and multiply it by the column of the second matrix. 
So what does that give us? 0 multiplied by 1 gives us 0. And what we do is we add it to 4 multiplied by 4, which gives us 60. And that fills our first box there. Now the second box over here in the middle, we're going to take the same row, the 0, 4 row, and we're going to multiply it by this second column. So 0 multiplied by 2 gives us 0. And we add it to 4 multiplied by 5, which gives 20. And then we go again because we have another box to fill out here. So we take the first row again and notice how when we're multiplying by the first row in here, we're filling it out on the first row in the answer. So we didn't go down as yet. We're still on that first row. So we go in now, the first row of the first matrix, and we multiply it by this third, row, this third column here. So 0 multiplied by 3 gives us 0 plus 4 multiplied by 6, which gives us 24. It's a very nice process. It takes a little bit of time and practice to get the hang of it, but it's not too intense. You just need to keep practicing it. And now that we finish with the first row of the answer, well, we need to go on to the second row. And if we want to use the second row, we need to use the second row from this first matrix here. So we'll be saying here, this second row, we're multiplying by the first column. So we get 1 by 1 gives us 1 plus 2 by 4 gives us 8. Now we move on. The second row multiplied by the second column. So 1, 1 multiplied by 2 gives us 2. And 2 multiplied by 5 gives us 10. And remember where? adding them together so we have 2 plus 10 and then lastly the second row multiplied by the third column so we have 1 multiplied by 3 giving us 3 plus 2 multiplied by 6 giving us 12 and now we filled out every box here in our answer. So all we need to do is just add up the, the numbers inside the boxes and we'll complete our matrix multiplication here. So all we need to say now is 0 plus 16 gives us 16. We get 20 here. We get 24 here. 1 plus 8 is 9. 2 plus 10 is 12 and 3 plus 12 is 15 and this here is the answer for that multiplication that we just did right there and if we look at this matrix that we have as our answer what we realize is it is a two row matrix by three columns So this matrix is a 2 by 3 matrix. So we went through the process on how we multiply this matrix here, or, or those two matrices, I should say. But there may be one thing that kind of might be juggling around in your mind, which is 
how did I know it was gonna be a 2 by 3 matrix to begin with? How did I know that I had to draw all these boxes here to fill out when I was doing the multiplication? And well, the reason for that is very simple. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna rewrite the multiplication on a new page. So I'm just gonna rewrite the matrices we multiplied. We had 0, 4, 1, 2. And we were multiplying it by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And what we did is we had to check to see if the matrices were compatible. So we wrote down the order of the first matrix, 2 by 2. And we wrote down the order of the second matrix, 2 by 3. And when we, when we made the compatibility check, what we did is we drew the circle around these two numbers here. And we realized that they were the same numbers, which meant that the matrices were compatible for multiplication. But what I didn't show you in the beginning of the video was that these remaining numbers here actually tell us the order of the answer. So the order of the answer after we do this multiplication here, it tells us that the order is going to be a 2 by 3 matrix. So that is how I was able to, to know that the answer is going to be a 2 by 3 matrix. And that is how I was able to fill out these boxes like this beforehand. So what we now know is that when we do the test for compatibility of two matrices, we could also figure out the order of the answer and we'll be able to then know how to set up our solution so we know how to fill in the boxes. So what I'll do is I know that matrix multiplication could be a very intense topic. So I'll, I'll cut short this video here. Hopefully you're able to understand a lot from it and hopefully you're able to grasp certain key concepts from this video. But for my second video of the week, I would like what I'll do is I would make a, a supplementary video where I go through just maybe about two or three questions on matrix multiplication so we could drive home these points that I discussed in this video here today. So look out for that video later on this week and I really hope that it will be able to help you here and help you improve your matrix multiplication game. So with that being said, I'd like to end off this video here. Um, thanks again for watching. Please, um, you know, you could subscribe or follow me depending on where you see in this video or my links are, are down there below. And yeah, just I really appreciate, um, you know, the little growth that my channel has been getting. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again.